Okay, ready, Arena? <laughs> All right, I'll get started then. Just raise your hand, Arena, through to the semi finals again here in Melbourne. Talk about how pleased you are with tonight's match and how you're feeling generally at this stage of the tournament. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy to get uh, through this match. Uh, Barbara is a tough opponent and uh, we always had really tough uh, battles against each other. And I'm happy with the level I played and, of course, I'm happy to get this win. Okay, we'll start with you, Tony. Uh, well played, Arena. Just with the way that the, the matches were running long, can I ask you, did the tournament ask you if you were prepared to move to... Margaret Court Arena, and, and did you say no? I mean, there was the possibility that one of our matches will will be uh, will be moved, but uh, we just decided to see how the Novak and Fritz match will go. If it's gonna if it's gonna be too long, then uh, we kind of like agreed for the possibility to be moved. Uh, but uh, uh, Novak uh, won third and first set, so we just we just. Uh, yeah, we just went on court as normal. So if it had gone to five, do you think you might have taken the switch at that point, if it had gone to five sets? Uh, probably, but I'm happy that it wasn't that long match and, uh, and uh, we were able to play on the on the red level arena. I think for the quarterfinals match, that's important to be played on, on, uh, on such a big stadium. Okay, next question. Eleanor, yeah. Yeah, Arena, when, when you play in the night session, presumably one of the advantages is that you should know when, when you're going to start your match. So I just wonder how kind of disruptive is that to your to your planning? I mean, of course, it would be much better to start at seven, but you cannot control other matches. And uh, uh, yeah, they played for long, but I, I just try to focus on myself and uh, and just wait a bit longer. It's not that bad. And uh, yeah, of course, better to start at uh, at time, uh, at not before time where it's supposed to start it, but it is how it is, and we have to adapt uh, quickly to the conditions. And I think, yeah, we did it well. Arena, you, you played really late the other night, um, and you won very quickly. Did when you when you play later than expected like that? Do you does it focus your mind? Do you really think I'm going to get this done as fast as I possibly can? Because <laughs> it looks like it. I would say. Uh, Every time I play that late, I would like to get as, uh, to win to win as fast as I can. Uh, but I'm trying to focus on myself because if you if you're in the rush, it's can uh, it's can uh, really um, and ends up really bad for you. So I'm, I'm trying to not to rush things. And if I finish uh, quick, that's good. If not, then it is how it is. Just so I have this clear, were you asked while their match was going while the Novak match was going on? Do you want to start now on Margaret Court? Yeah, they ask our opinions. For what, what, what do we think? And uh, if uh, if we want to be moved right now, and uh, we just told them that, well, let's see how this match goes. If it's going to be really long, then yeah, maybe it's a good idea to be moved. Uh, so they're not going to finish uh, like Medvedev finish another night. Uh, but yeah, but Novak won that set six two, and um, it still it still was quite early, and we decided to wait uh, for this match. I mean, it's just on, on playing Coco again, obviously second slam in a row. Are you <laughs> kind of happy to, to get another shot at her after the, the US Open? Final? I love it. I love it. After US Open, I really wanted uh, uh, that revenge. And uh, I would, I mean, that's that's a great match. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's always great battles against Coco, always uh, really great fights and I'm, 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 I'm happy to play her and I'm super excited to play uh, that semi-final match. Okay. Arena, congratulations. Sorry, sorry, sorry to go I'm back like, to this. <laughs> yeah. um, just on the, the discussion about whether the match got moved, you might not know the answer to this, but <coughs> do, was it only yours and Barbora's match that was had a possibility of being moved? Do you know if Rublev and Sinna, whether that was in the conversation as well? Uh, well, the, um, in that room, um, was me and Barbara, but we just told them you can ask guys if they want to be moved uh, because, like, uh, if they don't want to finish that late, uh, I'm pretty sure they ask guys if they want to move. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's not like they pushed us, you know. Like they just ask our opinion, opinion, and what, what, what yeah, what uh, we are thinking about being moved. Uh, congrats, Arena. Uh, just this streak that you have making semifinals at the majors, it's, it's quite a long one at this point. And when we flash back a few years ago, it was a tough 
uh, tough, tough for you to get to that stage. What has been the biggest difference, do you think, for you in terms of being able to sustain this consistent level at, at the uh, last uh, Yeah, last I, think, I think my mindset that I'm not getting crazy on court, I'm not rushing things, I'm just... You know, like I'm just playing point by point, and and that's it. And fighting for every point without uh, overthinking about my dreams, about what I want to do, about what like how many times I want to win, and all that stuff. You know, like I I I was able I was able to separate myself from that that kind of mentality and just start focusing on myself and focusing on things I can improve and I can get better in and and and, and what I actually have to do to win every match I play. Simon. Well, just on that, how did you do that? How did you separate yourself? Because I imagine it was pretty difficult. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I guess it's all about experience. <laughs> um, I think I'm more mature, <laughs> older, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but I think it all comes with experience, you know, like with uh, tough losses, with uh, tough matches, and uh, yeah, with experience. Okay. You know, you sat down one day and just thought, I need to change, or did you get some help? Did you speak to somebody about that kind of thing, a psychologist? or? I mean, I used to work with psychologists for four or five years, but, and you know, like when you're working with psychologists, at some point it's really helping, especially for young players just uh, uh, just st start playing, you know, in, on tour. But but then at some, but then at some point you start like kind of expecting somebody to help you you know like you're not fixing your problems by yourself you like expecting somebody to help you with that and I just decided decided at some point like I need to figure out by myself how to start control myself better and and I think that decision was the biggest decision for me and I start actually taking responsibility uh, for everything I'm doing and it's really helped me to become more. Um, more controlled on court. Okay, this lady here. Yeah. Hi, Alina. Um, you're facing Coco next. She's obviously uh, on a hot streak at the moment. Um, you've played her a couple of times, won a couple of times. Uh, why is she such a difficult uh, opponent and why is she so difficult to beat? Yeah, she's she's moving really well and everything you're, uh, you're doing on court, it's coming back. So you need to build the point probably a couple of times in one point, you know, like to, to have that... Uh, um, not like easy shot, but like, yeah, easy shot, you know, like to finish the point. So that's why she's she's a really tough opponent. And uh, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, she's a great player and I'm really excited playing her. Uh, last one, Simon. Just back on how you separated yourself. Do you do you ever look back at videos of yourself when you did go a little bit crazy on court? And, and do they come up on TV sometimes? You think, well, I don't, don't need to see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see that sometimes, <laughs> um, and I'm not super proud of myself doing some things on court, but um, it was part of my journey, and uh, I felt like I'm actually happy that kind of I, I faced those kind of like challenges, and I'm happy that I was able to fix that and to become more um, calm on court. Um, it's been really huge work and I'm happy that I was able to fix that. All right, we'll switch to national tournament. Yeah. Arina, поздравляю с победой. Вы стартовали в своем матче сегодня на два часа позже запланированного и проскочила информация, что действительно вас хотели перенести на Маргарет Корт Арену. Но не кажется ли вам несправедливым, потому что вы изначально были запланированы первыми, что к вам этого диалога вообще могло бы быть непримиримо? А, ну, скажем так, можно понять турнир, они действовали в своих интересах, они хоти, не хотели такого позднего, поздней концовки, а, можно понять, но нас как бы никто не заставлял, нас просто спросили, и прозвучал ответ, что это через финал, как бы, ну, мы не хотим передвигаться, и давайте посмотрим, как этот матч пойдет, если, если как бы пойдет полегче, то давайте мы останемся на этом корте, потому что все-таки это большой матч, и хотелось бы его сыграть на большом стадионе. У меня немножечко вопрос еще про сравнение мужского и женского тенниса, потому что э, ты на пресс-конференции, точнее, на, в интервью на корте сказал, что, ребят, я понимаю, что вы все ждете мужского матча. Ну, почему ты так сказал? Ты реально э, считаешь, что все пришли именно смотреть на них, а не на двух чемпионов турнира Большого шлема? Ну, мне кажется, да, что все-таки мужской теннис публике нравится больше, к сожалению. 
А, ну и тем более я несколько, не несколько, я слышала вначале по-итальянски, поэтому я начинаю понимать, что, наверное, ждут синера. А, вот. А, ну, как есть. Все, ну, все равно как бы у мужчин, наверное, более высокий уровень. Как бы это понять можно. Поэтому, да, вот так. А ты говорила, что у вас сумасшедшая команда. Чем эта сумасшедшая команда занималась в эти два часа? И чем сумасшедшая команда проявляет свое сумасшествие во, во время тренировок? Как это сумасшествие, может быть, ну, на, на более расслабленном уровне проявляется? Ну, мы как бы сумасшедшие, это такое слово. Мы просто, мне кажется, такая позитивная очень команда. И любим э, позитив, э, делать какие-то веселые вещи. И два часа мы играли в Уна. Играли в Уна. И да, собственно, ничего такого прям сумасшедшего не делали. кто побеждает в Уна? И есть ли у вас какие-то пари? Если кто-то проигрывает, кто что делает? Нет, мы просто, мы просто играем в Уна, и, а, ну, скажем так, я не часто проигрываю. Наверное, вопрос про Кори Гауф, вспоминая ваш финал US Open. Как ты думаешь, что тогда у тебя не получилось, начиная со второго сета, и как это предотвратить в предстоящем матче? Ну, на самом деле, очень много мыслей было, очень, опять-таки, вернулось, так сказать, к как это, старым привычкам, а, немножечко эмоционально стал, как бы эмоции начали зашкаливать, еще и стадион как бы прям а, так вот прям вообще очень громко поддерживал Коку, что как бы понятно, вот, я, я, собственно, другого не ожидала, но, наверное, как-то очень много эмоционально вот себя загнала и а, а, стало меньше агрессии проявлять на корте, пассивнее играть стало, ей стало комфортнее, и особенно с ее передвижением, как бы, когда ее не, не, нет давления как бы, скоростного, то ей как бы, очень комфортно, и, в общем, вот так вот просто захлебнулась в своих эмоциях. Спасибо. Спасибо. Yeah. Арина, будет ли каким-нибудь преимуществом, что Коко загорала на солнце три с половиной часа, а ты так убедительно прошла всеми матчами? Слушайте, я не знаю, не могу дать ответ на этот вопрос. У нас как бы есть день восстановления после каждого матча, поэтому я не думаю, что это будет прям какое-то преимущество. Тем более она молодая, атлетичная, физически очень подготовленный игрок. Я не думаю, что для нее это какая-то проблема. Это... Не думаю, что она была бы в топе, если бы это было для нее проблемой. Еще один. Как часто тебе удастся побыть в Белоруссии дома с родными? Когда ты в следующий раз поедешь? Да, к сожалению, к сожалению, не часто. И последний раз я там была, к сожалению, не знаю, полтора-два года назад. Встречаемся с семьей на предсезонке в Дубае. И, конечно же, это не очень радует, но как есть. График тяжелый. Спасибо. Спасибо. Черту.